to the to the community. Well, I know I know they've given to my chair, my my local charity, mm -hmm. Casa de las Amigas. There you go. Every yes. Year. So that's that's wonderful. It is. And that's all the realtors, you know, giving back to the community through just one organization. Correct. You know, let alone all of the other realtors that do their own thing as right. well. You know, right. So that's that's wonderful. It is, and it's, it's really nice seeing a group of volunteers come together for a specific cause. Yeah. It's really nice to see yeah. that. Yeah, and then also the organ, the the association. Um, what benefits? Oh, this is, I love this one. What okay. benefit does um, the association do to the private the private owners out there, the private home homeowners? C certainly. What one of the things that obviously we're a realtor association, mm -hmm. but what we also pride ourselves on is that we're the local advocate for private property owner rights. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, when a, a, a local uh, ordinance comes up what we call a point of sale ordinance, okay. where at the close of escrow, if a city comes in or a county comes in and will require that homeowner to make a specific repair before they can sell the house, what we do as an organization, as a realtor organization, we come in and try and fight that point of sale because it actually hinders and hurts the homeowner. And it helps them actually transfer uh, title without costing them any additional money to that. So it's, so, it's so you guys almost sit as an advocate for the homeowners sitting there yes. as well. We do, and we actually work very closely, of course, with the California Association of Real Realtors to mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. But we, we really focus, especially our job, being a local association, is to keep our eye on the pulse of what's happening locally to see what cities are doing. Mm -hmm. Now, that you, you, I know we have a lot of different boards amongst the association itself. Yes which is all realtors taking their time sitting on different boards. Yes. Um, so what board would that be exactly? Or is that just part of... It's, it's not a specific committee per se. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we have a political action committee that mm -hmm. keeps an eye out things. But as an association, we're, we're, we're larger by the whole. Right. And so as an association, we're able to, to fight through the California Association of Realtors for our local private property rights. Okay. Okay, and then let me see what else we had here because there were so many good things. Oh, I know, now we've got some special events coming up. Yes, we do. So what special events, what special events and uh, the AAR hosts each year that benefits the uh, members? We have many, many different. We probably have, <laughs> I know this is a half hour show, so I can't list <laughs> everything. Uh, but one of, the, one of the large events that we do every spring is a Realtor Tech and Business Expo. Mm -hmm. And it's held at the Arcadia Racetrack, the Santa Anita Racetrack. And we get about 700 agents every year to attend these events absolutely free. Another benefit for our realtors. And in fact, it's not just for our local association. We open it up to all realtors in the state of California. Uh, we have people actually, dri believe it or not, driving up from San Diego to attend this event. And what we do is it's, it's designed for realtors, mm -hmm. put on by realtors, by volunteers, a volunteer committee. And it's a day, it's a series of educational events with mm -hmm. breakout sessions. We have all kinds of vendors appearing mm -hmm. who are there to help the, the realtors with their business. Mm -hmm. And then we actually have a special keynote speaker at lunchtime uh, to address the, the realtor community to let them know how they can actually promote their business faster, better, and less expensive. That's great. It is. That's and again, did I mention it's free? It's free. Absolutely free, That's right. Even better. Yeah. Now that is only the the public can't come to that. That is only for all the realtors Correct. from really anywhere. As Correct. long as you're a realtor, you can go to this. Correct. Now we do have events that, that actually benefit the community. Mm -hmm. For example, last year, in, in conjunction, funny enough, with the city of Monrovia, uh, we did a uh, special services with a, a, a guest speaker, Anthony Portentino, our local assembly right. person, and it was to promote the free services in the city of Monrovia, including housing assistance, including assistance for senior citizens, things like that. Anything that the city of Monrovia offers that that we actually were a part of, as of course being a part of Monrovia, right. we're able to promote that to the Monrovia residents for free. Wow. It was a, com a complete community event that we opened up to the uh, to the uh, local community here in Monrovia. Because you you live here in Monrovia. I do live in Monrovia, yeah. Proud, yeah. proud uh, eight-year resident yeah. and uh, plan on uh, raising my family here, actually. Yeah. So at least another 18 years. Uh, probably, <laughs> even more, even more, yeah. 
well, let's see, let's see. What else? Anything else that you can think of that you would want uh, our viewers to know about the association? Well, again, with our association, it's, it's important for, for the community to, to realize that even though we're based in Arcadia, we are not just Arcadia-based Realtors. Right. We, are, we represent all local communities around our area, mm -hmm. and I encourage the, the community to not only look out for our association, but to make sure that they work with Realtors and not just licensees. Again, there, there's a huge, huge difference, and we have to make sure that the, the community is aware of that. Right, right. Now, let me also ask you, because mm -hmm. I'm on one of the committees yes. for public relations mm -hmm. with the Arcadia Association of Realtors. So how, what, what would you suggest that the, the general public, like Arcadia or Monrovia, mm -hmm. how could they possibly be, be more active within the association? Well, the general public actually cannot join the association unless they have an actual real estate license. Now, the public is invited to all our events, especially mm -hmm. our, our charitable events. Mm -hmm. um, it's put on by our realtors, but it's not limited to realtors. Mm -hmm. The community is, is absolutely invited to all our, our charitable events. Except for the tech committee. That's just for realtors. You mean the, the tech fair that we're the having? That's just, for, that's that's just, just for, realtors, for realtors, correct. And frankly, there's there's no, uh, is, is not geared towards the, the community. Right. We do many community events throughout the year. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if I was to take our, our golf tournament right. that we do typically uh, around the fall of every year, mm -hmm. uh, that's open to the community. Mm -hmm. They can absolutely join and participate. In fact, we encourage them to do that. Now, how do they find out about that? Through our website. Okay. Uh, you can go to the Arcadia Association mm -hmm. website. Am I allowed to say yeah. that on the air? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, www.aar.com. Okay. And through that website, we have a complete list of uh, uh, community events, events mm -hmm. that we do as an association. And it's, it's, it's important to understand that we have a calendar of events that our community can go to and also our uh, real estate agents community can go to as well. Okay. So the, the different things they have, the bingo for charity yes they've got the um golf for people who golf for, yes. for charity what other events did they have last year that we might have this year that the public could day at the races day at the races of course being in Ar yeah, arcadia we, we utilize the santa anita racetrack mm -hmm. uh, quite often and so we do day at the races and again that's not just for real estate agents yeah. the, the community is, is is absolutely invited to 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 attend what we also do as well and i think it's important for us to mention at our association building we have a community room mm -hmm. that we oftentimes will donate to our local community for events Okay. Uh, especially nonprofit, you have to be a nonprofit organization. But we will donate our room to a local nonprofit association or organization oh, to hold, host their events at our event at, at our building at no cost. Oh, that's nice because that is a nice room that we have there. That's oh, a fantastic room. Oh, okay, all right. So again, they could go to the AAR um, website. Yes. Again, for that. Correct. Because the office is on First Avenue yes. in Arcadia, mm -hmm. and um, and that that's that's wonderful that the um, the it, but they have to be nonprofit organizations. They have to be a nonprofit. It's not just the if, public could correct. use it for parties or, or bar mitzvahs for a wedding receptions. You cannot whatever. do that. No, okay, right. It has to be. If we're if we're a nonprofit organization ourselves, and so right. if we're going to donate our room, it has to be to a nonprofit organization. If they have any questions or interest, have them give us a call at the association. We'd be happy to talk to them. Okay, great. Yeah, great.